Good morning everyone, I've just woken up. It's Saturday morning and yeah, I slept in really, really late. It's been a very tiring week so I've needed to catch up on some sleep so I'm feeling much better. But you know when you like oversleep and you just feel tired after waking up? Kind of got that going on a little bit right now. Uh, I haven't got up properly or got like ready yet so I kind of look a bit of a mess especially because like I just had my hair cut and I haven't had a chance to style it myself yet so I'm kind of looking at it and I'm like not sure that I like that because you know how it is when you just get it cut and it's, you haven't done it yourself you're like oh it, I don't know if this haircut's going to be any good I'm sure it will be but I need to go have a shower and sort that out Sarah is at work um, it's her last day with customers so that's going to be pretty cool for upcoming weekends off. She's going to be around a lot more, which is absolutely fantastic. So she'll be in more weekend vlogs after this one. Uh, this is probably one of the last weekend vlogs where it will be just me for, for quite a bit because she's going to be about, which is pretty cool. I am looking forward to that. Despite all the jokes I may make to the contrary, that is going to be quite nice. Gonna have some breakfast in a second, but I think I'm out of milk, so I might have to go to the shop beforehand. We will see. Don't really know why I worry. She always does a really good job, and my hair is fine. So I'm pretty happy with that, and it looks pretty good, even if I do say so myself. So today, I think I'm gonna tidy up some of the bits in the lounge, because uh, last weekend in our weekend vlog, we were clearing through a lot of cupboards, trying to find like a uh, PlayStation 2, and some games and controllers, believe it or not. But since doing that, I haven't really put a lot of that stuff that I took out to get to that box back into the cupboard. So it's kind of all over the lounge still, which is really, really bad. So I'm gonna tidy up some of that right now, get us some more space back. And then I think I'm gonna try and take some photos of some playing cards, because I collect playing cards and I do photography. So it seems like a really good way to practice and try out some new techniques and skills and things. So I'm gonna be trying out something I've been meaning to try for a while. It's using a foil background to create some really nice sort of like light bursts behind your subject. So I'm just trying to get all set up and work out what I'm gonna use and get my settings correct. Get the flashes from over there and get them set up pointing at the right things. And then I'm just gonna sort of give it a go. I'm gonna try with a couple of different surfaces like this brown leathery looking one and then my favorite, the black glass. That's all super shiny and reflective. Hello. So yeah, we'll see how this turns out. Unfortunately, this isn't really working out like I'd hoped. I don't really have the right setup. Ideally, you'd want that to be able to be mounted on like a wall and then like a big gap between this and use much more foil, but I don't really have enough foil to warrant doing that. And I don't know, I'm just not really, not really loving the results. Like I got a couple that were kind of close. Let me find one that looks okay. Uh, Nope, none of these. Yeah, okay, so if we can see, like you can kind of see like this kind of blurred background, like lights coming through, which is what this is supposed to look like, but it just isn't really working out and it's just looking really harsh and I just don't like it. So I think I'm gonna not quite bail on this plan, but maybe just take a photo of something else instead, cause it's just not, it's not really working out like I'd hoped, which is a shame, but sometimes that's how it goes. Instead of playing cards, I ended up taking pictures of one of the other things that I enjoy, which is wine. Um, I'm trying to get like a shot of the wine coming down into the glass and kind of splashing around at the bottom. Uh, I definitely don't think I've got it and I want to try it again on like a white background, but I want to just sort of put the card in, check out the photos, see what I got, learn from why this didn't quite work out, why I wanted it to, and just sort of have a game plan for next time, I think. So this actually hasn't turned out that badly. It's just really one of those things that like hammers home that I'm doing this well at home and not in like a studio. Because if I'm in a studio, I don't know if you can see this from the reflection on the screen, but like you can see like the reflections of our apartment behind in this glass. And really what you want is a perfectly dark room so that you can just control all of the lighting. But I mean, this stream of wine came out far better than I thought it would, so I don't know, it's a bit of a success. I've just got to have a better setup. And if I was to have like a really much darker room, like maybe doing this like in the middle of the night or something like that, this would actually look pretty cool, I think, because there wouldn't be this much like sort of distortion in the glass. You'd just have the glass reflecting nothing, which would be really, really cool. I do think I need to change the position of the light a little bit um, and get some more practice in on that. 
But yeah, overall, I'm fairly happy with this. Like, as a practice run, it's come out not too bad. I just really wish that there weren't these, like you can see the reflection of the flash over here and over here, which is kind of unavoidable, but if I had a nicer background, I'd be able to blur that out more. So I'm gonna play around with it, see what I can do, but yeah, not too bad. Having a slice of cake that we bought the other day and watching the semi-finals of the CSGO Major. Sarah will be home in a couple of hours and yeah, I'm just gonna have, it's cake shaped like a unicorn and it's got colors on it, which is why we bought it. And it's pretty good cake. And we got it reduced, which is even better. It has started to rain and we are predicted a storm. Sarah's gonna have fun walking home. She's gonna be so mad. I forgot that I had giant chocolate buttons, so I'm gonna enjoy these. I was in the fridge and I was like, hmm, I really feel like something sweet, but I don't have anything. But then I remembered. So it's raining, which sucks, but I need to go to the shop and get some beer and some onions and some butter because I'm making hot dogs tonight and I don't have any of those things and they need all of them. So uh, I'm just gonna have to get wet. I'm home for work at the final proper day at work. Bye, Felicia, to all those customers. Bye. Don't come back. Because <laughs> you can't. Um, so I've got home. I'm having some chili that I made yesterday, and it is making Your lots of noise. No, it's not my rice. It's my chili. Oh. It's making loud noises. Stop it. Um, and it wasn't very spicy when I ate it yesterday. So Ash has put in some. What have you put in? Some Dave's Insanity sauce. Not a lot though, because I don't... The tiniest amount. A Literally triple. the tiniest amount that I could. So it's a very, very hot sauce. So... This oh, sauce. oh, I'm coming around this side. Death sauce. Yeah. Ultra death. Ultra death. Oh no, it's, that's it. It's Blair's Ultra Death. It's not Dave's Insanity. That's a completely different sauce. I don't even know your sauce is Ash. No, I don't. Although I do have some of that in the fridge too. Oh, okay. You know. Just in case we need some of this, but this is less hot, I think. Why well, should I use that then? Why didn't I use that? Well, we put ultra death in my chili. Yeah, because I think the ultra death is good. I don't know. You <laughs> ruined my chili. It won't ruin your chili. It'll just make it spicier. Okay. So yeah, I'm home now. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna have a can of Fanta, which I'm very excited about because I bloody love Fanta. And then we're gonna. Watch, Ash is watching CSGO, which is a Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Correct. Yeah, game competition thing. And we're watching to see who wins. And there's a team currently playing called Immortals, and I want them to win because it reminds me of Baymax and the song that uh, Pull That Boy do. So I'm gonna eat my chili. I'm so hungry. Because what did I have for lunch today? I just don't remember. No, okay. We need this. And okay. you're making chili as well, chili dogs. Chili oh, yeah. cheese dogs. Don't yeah, you, you need chili, cheese? Chili cheese dogs. And I'm making the beer beer and buttery kind of caramelized dish onions to go with it right now. My rice! Oh, oh, turn down, turn down! Oh. Oh no, it's all the spoiled. Well, you put the hand over the middle bit. Everything is ruined! So I've eaten my chili and I'm gonna try one of these biscuits. I was in Tesco's with Ash. And I said, I want to pick a, a biscuit I've never had before. Pick one. And he said, this is a really good biscuit. Yeah? And I think it's a really great biscuit. Now I'm worried that you won't like it and you'll blame me, but I think it's a really great biscuit. Well, we'll see. Let's give it a go. So it's uh, chocolate on one side and biscuity on the other. It tastes like the chocolate, um, what are the rich teas? Really? Yeah. Oh. So this is my dinner. Chili dogs with cheese. It's going to be incredibly messy, but I've been really looking forward to this literally all day. Yeah. Don't look at me like that. Okay. Don't just film me when I've just rubbed on my eye makeup. You have to say goodbye to the vlog. I'm gonna go have a shower because I spilled fans down myself. <laughs> now I'm all sticky. Aww. We're going to bed. Yeah, because it's late and we're tired. Yes. So we shall see it's you tomorrow. It's Saturday night and it's past 11, so it's bedtime.
Yeah. But we'll see you tomorrow though, and you're off tomorrow, aren't you? I don't want weekends anymore. Woo! We'll talk about that tomorrow. Yeah. Night. Night. Good morning. Good morning. It's a rubbish looking day. Good morning. Good morning. From me and you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It is, I say morning. It is. What time is it? Move your butt. 12.05. We have been up since just before 10, but as usual, we have not done a lot. But I'm ready, I've had a shower, I've done my makeup, not done my hair yet, but that's fine. What are you making? Huh? What are you making? I'm about to have some cereal and I'm just putting some beer and onions in the fridge. Beer and onions in the fridge, about to have some cereal. I might have some cereal too, you know, if I can have some of your milk. Yeah. Yeah, and then today, <coughs> we haven't got too much pan. We need to go to Costco so that Ash can get some more water because he's out of his bottled water. It's yeah. very, very important. Very important. And then, is there anywhere else you want to go? I don't think so. Wrong side of payday. Wrong side of payday. Don't want to go splurging. No. A little party party. Nope. No party party. Nope. Okay, let's eat some breakfast. Brunch, lunch, lunch now. <laughs> it's fully lunch. So, need your help, all your help. Depending, so the song has <laughs> popped into my head. So did anybody else used to get the original PlayStation magazine? You yes. used to have the demo discs in that would give you like a level or something of a game. Anyway, there was this game. I don't, I remember I wasn't very good at it, which is probably why I know the, the title bit. And it was like, uh, I think you're like a dog or something. And he was a Kung Fu teacher. <laughs> And he would like sing a song and he's like, the Kung Fu teacher is sure to teach us and nevertheless you get lessons. Les for rapper to rapper. Is that it? Lesson from teacher. And he'd be like, kick. And then you'd have to kick. Yeah. He'd be like, punch. Yeah, that's for rapper to rapper. For rapper to rapper. For rapper to rapper. Hold on, we need to look this up. Right, spell that because that sounded like words that didn't exist. <laughs> P-A-R-A-P and it'll have already come up in autocomplete. No, I didn't. The Although I could probably spell the rest. <laughs> oh, that's him! <laughs> yeah, Barappa de Rapper. Hold on, I wanna. Help. It's a rhythm rap game for the PlayStation. Do you know what? I have, honest to God, this is no joke, I had this song in my head since the original PlayStation game, and it comes into my head quite regularly, <laughs> and I'll sing that, and I have no reference to it coming from apart from a 2D dog that just bounces and is like, kick! Yeah. It's all like um, daily task type stuff, but he does raps about them, and you have to do like the rhythm stuff in time. Mine. How did you even know that? I know lots of things. I need to listen to the first stage, but I feel like I can't have it. It came out in 1996, so I've had this in my head since I was six years old, because it was a demo, so that means surely it hadn't come out yet? Yeah, maybe. So around... It mean, that might have been when it was released, like, in America or something, but it came to over here later. Well, 96, 97. Yeah. And that song has been stuck in my head. It's like, um... Was it SMTV Live that had the oh nine oh double one ten sixty ten or whatever that was or direct line or whatever? I just stupid Hastings numbers. direct Hastings with ten sixty six because it's ten sixty six the Battle oh. of Hastings that wasn't in Hastings. Oh nine oh double one ten sixty ten. Ten sixty six. No, but that's not the one I'm doing then. No, you you're mixing. I, mean, I think you're mixing like the beginning of the the Hastings number with a different one. O nine O, double one, one ten sixty six ten. Yeah, it was CITV. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Where is this? No the CITV that I'm pretty sure doesn't exist anymore. Definitely Nin doesn't exist. CITV community, community nineteen ninety eight, and I still have. I don't even remember my own mobile number, but I have the CITV <laughs> ringing number. Stupid stuff that head. sticks around inside your head. So we're in Costco, and we've discovered some stemmed hurricane glasses, which are huge. Like this is my hand. For your lemon and lime needs, when you need to stack up all your your lemons and limes. What kind of drink could you have in there? You could have a good cocktail in that. Yeah, I feel like a nice pina colada or a margarita or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm silly. They have all new glasses stock in here. Glasses. Let's go look at the other new things. Yes. So we're back from Costco with a decent amount of things, and Sarah has decided to play Spire the Dragon. 
on PlayStation 2, but it is a PlayStation really 1 game. Though, isn't it? It's old school. Very old school. Nothing looks as good as you remember it. What time is it? I'll tell you what time it is. It's half seven. Yes. We filmed at like half twelve last. We're terrible. No, I, we filmed when we came back from Costco. Did we? Yeah, because you were playing your game. I pointed oh. it. But tell them why you, you stopped playing. So I played one level of Spyro. I did mention it on Instagram stories, but um, I got really motion sick to the point where I genuinely thought I was going to be sick. I had to lay down, turn the lights off and close my eyes. One, I didn't even, I said one level, I didn't even finish the level of Spyro I was playing. And I was like, what? Getting old. And I also, when we went to Costco, I got um, food down myself because we they were giving out samples. And I was like, I'll have a sample. And then, <laughs> Um So we've had our dinner. And we got books. Can I show them the book? Yeah. Are you okay with you? Oh. I got this book, which is a patisserie book. The Art of French Pastry. And it's really good. It's meant to be £30, didn't we see on Amazon? Oh, and I got you that one. But that's not for you now. I'm just letting you have a look at it now. <laughs> I want those people that will buy presents for people like, throughout the year and then just have them set aside. And I'd be like, oh yeah, it's a thing that, that we're celebrating. Here's that present I hid. Um, mine's about patisseries. And a patisserie, and it tells you how to make all different pastries. And this one is the, this one. It's a really good looking book. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy with that. And then we had some dinner. What are we going to do now? What are you going to do now? Uh, I was going to play some CSGO. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to edit. I'm going to watch Caroline and Sean's vlog that's just gone up. And there's a trip announcement. And if they're not going to Florida the same time we are, I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> I've been sending mental vibes. Because they've been looking and been like, go in May. But then they were talking about the Halloween and Christmas party. And in my head I'm still like, go in May. <laughs> but I don't think they are. It's the Sunday night ritual, editing, with a window back through the vlogs. It's pan to Sarah, pan to Sarah, pan to Sarah. Oh, you weren't even looking. Oh, because I was looking at... Oh, let me finish. <laughs> so, it's light in the last few videos, and I was just going to comment that it's dark now. That was, that was what I was going to say. Awesome. It was dark now. So we're going to get this edited, and then I'm having a bath. This is a very... Someone always has a bath on a Sunday. Yeah, because it's such a good day to have a bath because it gets to this time of the day and you're like, what can I usefully do right now? Nothing. I will have a bath and watch TV and it's going to be great. You're going to have cake in the bath? Maybe. Maybe have some cake. Because Ash got me a cake because I got a job. Yay! We'll talk more about that later when Ash's in the bath. We'll have a little life update chat. Um... But yeah, so we're just going to edit this, and then I'm going to watch some Love Island, and then I'm going to talk to you guys, so... Well, you know, I'll see you literally a second between this cut, but actually it'll probably be about a couple hours. <laughs> yep. So this is the cake that Ash has got me. It's a unicorn cake, so the top had a unicorn, and it's purple, pink, and yellow. So I've ended up watching Love Island until quite late, and um... I have to be up quite early in the morning because I'm going back to work just to help pack up the stock. So I'll be doing that from 9am tomorrow so I'm going to go to bed. Um, I will fill you in on everything pretty soon but thank you for checking in with us this weekend and you'll be seeing a lot more of me because I have every single weekend off now and weekdays so we're going to spend lots more time together. Woop, 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 woop. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!